Hi right, guys, today we're going to do a virtual walk on a freshly stock Mercedes SLK 350. It's the uh, AMG Sport Edition and it's finished in this gorgeous silver. It's like a dark grey silver, uh, which looks absolutely amazing. A lovely car, great spec as well. If we go down to the alloys, we've got the 18 inch AMG 5 spoke alloys, finished in silver. You've got your nice AMG engraving on there too, which looks great. If we go to the front, you've got your Mercedes uh, Xenon headlights with daytime running lights. Very bright and powerful lights and they also look great. We've got the AMG styling kit around the car so it stands out to the rest of the SLKs and you've got the nice sports grills and all the chrome trims on everything which look really good. If we go to the sides you can see you've got the nice chrome side vents and also on the hoods as well, hood vents as well which looks great. Got the matching colour wing mirrors to the body colour, you've got your indicators on there too and a matching housing. A lovely chrome trim on the underside of the window uh, and nice black trims as well. A matching colour door handles too to the body which is great. If we go to the back the nice rear tail lights. We've also got the SLK 350 badging and AMG badging on there too. And the lovely AMG rear bumper with a nice breakup colour diffuser and two chrome exhaust tips, uh, which looks absolutely amazing. If we go into the boot of the car, you can see you've got nice boot space for a, um, a convertible. Obviously, this is with the load space cover up and then the uh, little separator, so you won't be able to put the roof down, but if you pull this down, you can put the roof down, but obviously you've just got a little bit less room, uh, but still enough to fit a few bits in there. If we go and get into the car, you can see you have the gorgeous uh, full leather seats with red contrast stitching going through. You've also got the nice red seat belts as well. These are the AMG bucket seats, which are very comfy and nice. Getting on into the car, we'll put the key in the ignition and turn the car on. You can see you've got the gorgeous flat bottom AMG steering wheel which is leather and the red stitching to match the interior on the inside. You've got controls on either side so you've got your digital driving dash controls, you can get your different trip meters up, displays, navigation and everything on your digital dash and control it from here and you can see all the info of the car as well such as mileage, range and everything. On this side you've got your volume control, hands free and voice command as well. You don't have flappy paddles on the steering wheel so you can use them to change gears which is a nice alternative. If we go down to the sides, you can see you've got the leather door cards with the same uh, red stitching going through. You've got uh, fully automatic windows and electric wing mirrors. You've also got your central locking located there. And if you look down here, you've got your automatic headlights, which you can switch to manual as well. Adjust the dim of them and everything. And you've also got your handbrake down there too. If we go over to the media display, control to this panel down here, or your quick access buttons here. You can see you've got the ability to have discs and media and stuff, so you can put CDs in. Um, you've also got all your memory cards and USB storage and uh, media interface and Bluetooth audio as well so you can listen to your own music um, and then you've also got your telephone function through Bluetooth too so you've got your hands free as well which you can answer in the client calls through the car. If we go over you can see you've got your navigation so you've got the nice navigation system which is very clear and easy to use, uh, very nice and up to date with the latest stuff as well. Um, also if you put the car in reverse you can hear we've got some parking sensors too. Going down, you've got the automatic stop start and your traction control. We have your climate control as well, so you've got the temperature on this side and then how fast the air comes out of there. Front and rear defogging and your aircon and everything. If we open up here, you can see you've got a 12 volt and some storage space, which is great. It's lovely leather uh, gear stick for your lever, uh, which is the same red stitching to match the interior. Obviously the media controller. If we open up here, you've got some storage space or a drink holder. Um, then if we open up here, you've got the place to put your USB port and you've got a 12 volt and some storage space. So if you want to put the roof down, all you need to do is pull this down. Um, so all you need to do is pull that down and you don't have to do any latches or anything. The roof will come down as long as you've got the boot separator closed. And you can see just very nice and quick and easy. No messing around and the boot will close like that. Obviously it's raining a bit so I won't fully do it. Um, but you can see that's how easy it is to uh, do the roof, which is great. All you need to do is just wait for the beep and you're ready to go. So if you have any more questions about this car, please feel free to contact our sales team and potentially this could be your next new car. Cheers.